What is up YouTube? That's here, and I'm going to be bringing you guys another amazing X and Y battle that I played over the GBU. It's going to be singles this time, like it normally is, but it's going to be singles this time. I'm going to be in the bottom left using Scizor, Garchomp, and Gengar, and I'm going to be fighting against Rotom, Charizard, and Ferrothorn. Now, Ferrothorn hasn't really been used that much in uh, singles, especially in like the threes format, because it uh, like hazards aren't really that good, but Ferrothorn can be super tanky, and like right from the team preview, I was like, my team just can't kill uh, Ferrothorn. I'm going to have such a big problem. I think, like I said, he had a Rotom too. So, yeah, this this guy just had like a really strong team. And of course, he'd weed with the Ferrothorn. The thing I really don't want to see the most. But it's cool. You know, I figured he would weed with it. That's why I love with my Scizor, which can pretty much fight anything. I'm going to start off by Mega Evolving and my Mega Scizor. Just because it gets a little bit stronger and its defenses go up just a bit. Just in case something weird happens, you know. And I'm going to pop a U-turn. Uh, I'm could have not mega evolved just to save the fact that he doesn't know which one is going to mega evolve but it was fine this is the only one that has its mega item so i was like whatever it's no big deal i'll just pop the mega evol evolution so i'm going to u-turn and actually do more damage myself by hitting the iron bar than rocky helmet and i'm going to go into my guard chomp expecting potentially a thunder wave and he gyro ball he was going to gyro ball my scissor can you believe that and look how much freaking damage that does i'm thinking he's banded because he withdraws right there and he goes into his Rotom. Maybe he was going to expect my Earthquake or something. Which I did. <laughs> but it's cool. Uh, I can't fight Rotom, especially at that low of health. I'm going to go into Gengar just to do it. Because I'm expecting potentially a Wisp. He goes for the Hydro and misses, which is very lucky for me. And him missing with that Hydro makes me think that he's Scarfed. Because he switches out. He doesn't really want to fight my Gengar. So I go in for the Sludge Bomb just because I wanted the Poison. He probably just kind of called me as well. I'm going to hit this guy with the Shadow Ball. And look how much damage it does. That's because Ghost, uh, like, uh, Steel no longer resists Ghost. So that's really, really good for Gengar. Gengar can actually fight Ferrothorn now. And you see he's going to have to switch or else he's going to die to the next Shadow Ball. And he goes back into the, the Rotom. So the Rotom's going to eat this Shadow Ball. Now, like I said, I think this guy is Scarfed, but there's not really that much I can do. I have to switch because, like... I'm fighting from a losing position on all fronts here. I go back into my Garchomp to eat the Hydro Pump, and he goes for a Volt Switch, which is what another possibility is why I went to Garchomp, and him switching there makes me 100% say he's Scarf, because he can't Volt Switch Garchomp anymore. He has to go into Ferrothorn. I call him going to Ferrothorn, and I Earthquake. So, this game, we're both, like, calling each other swaps over and over and over again, but eventually I get First Blood, and I kill that Ferrothorn. So, now he's going to send out Rotom pretty much to Revenge Kill me, I'm expecting Hydro Pump. I go into my Gengar, because Gengar is less useful than Garchomp at this stage in the game. It's just how I feel it. The Hydro Pump hits. Like I said, I expected it to hit. I'd just rather have my Garchomp than a 1 HP Gengar. Because now I can just go into Scizor. Which I choose to do so. I choose to go into Scizor. Scizor can fight this Rotom, especially if it's not at full. So he's going to withdraw. He knows that he's pretty much in my death range. And he goes into Charizard. That's what it was. So I popped a U-turn knowing he would switch, and if he didn't, he couldn't kill me, and I would just kill him anyways. So of course U-turns can do nothing to Charizard, and I go into my Garchomp. Now, I really think Garchomp is faster than Charizard. There's There have been cases where my Garchomp, since it's not perfect, has lost before, but I pop a Dragon Claw. It's going to get it really low. Well. It's not going to kill it, but he misses with an Air Slash. That's why you got to save your Garchomp, because it has just that little sliver HP that makes him go for the Air Slash over the Flamethrower. He goes into his Rotom. I don't know why, this is pretty much why he lost the game. Because now he has two Pokemon in the red that are slower than my Garchomp. So Garchomp's going to go like for the sweep to her, to her, kill all three of his Pokemon, kill the Ferrothorn, kill the Rotom. You know it's going to kill the Charizard. He comes in, eats the Dragon Claw, and that's all she wrote for Charizard. So this game, like I said from the team preview, I should have lost. But he just brought the three-round Pokemon and made a very, very, very big misplay at the end. And... In all reality, like, how low that Charizard was after the drag, like, he this is what it comes down to. His Charizard, right? Let's say he killed my Garchomp with the Air Slash. Well, my Scizor actually has Quick Attack on it as one of its moves. I could have definitely finished off the Charizard with Quick Attack. Rotom would have come in. We already know Rotom can't fight Scizor. I could have Quick Attacked it, Quick Attacked it, and it would have died. So, I still had the game. Pretty much once I killed Ferrothorn, I knew I had the game, 100%. But it was still a really fun battle, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So... Like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you're going to do, and I'll see you guys next time.